Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, ¿me escuchan? Good evening, miss. Yes. Yes. Okay, how are you? How are you? How are you? Are you okay? Or are you Hello? tired? Hello? It's me. Okay, It's Francisco. Me. Okay, are you okay, Francisco? Yes. It's low, the audio, no sé. Ah, yes. Bien suave, bien suave lo escucho. Está muy suave. ¿Y los demás cómo yo, me yo escuchan? Yo por lo menos lo escucho suave, no sé si los demás lo ah, escuchan okay. bien. ¿Los demás? Yo lo escucho bien. Se escucha es, bien. Se escucha bien. Ah, pues quizás sí. el, el suyo, Francisco, si le aumenta un poquito de, de volumen. Ahí estamos. Ok, thanks a lot. Now, how are you? How was your day? Are you okay? Are you tired? What activities did you do during the day? ¿Qué actividades hicieron en el día? Tell me. Hey, practice, practice. Practice with, this, with speaking. Sleep. Cuéntenme. I work all ah, day. You work all day, Francisco. Nice. Yes. Ok. What about Tatiana Maria? What activities did you do during the day? ¿Qué actividades hizo durante el día? Um, relax. Okay. Did you watch TV? Yes. Yes. Did I you watch. work? Did you work? Trabajó? Uh, in my house. Ah, okay. And then you clean the house, right? Yes. Nice. What about Crisia? How was your day, Crisia? I'm fine. Okay. Nice. What about Tania Eriselda? How was your day? Everything okay, Miss. Everything is okay. Nice. And what is your favorite food? Can you tell me? Volunteer food. My favorite food is the rice with milk or rice in milk. Rice and milk. Okay. What about the rest of the class? What is your favorite food? My Another favorite food is uh, fish. Fish. Nice. What is the meaning of Camila? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is fried chicken with rice. Fried chicken with rice. What about Susana, Sarina Susana? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is, how do you say, plátano frito? Banana, fried bananas. Fried bananas. Nice. What It about is... William? Okay. William Vladimir, what is your favorite food, William? William, are you there? William, no. And then, what about Pamela? Pamela Hernandez, what is your favorite food? Hi, my favorite food is tacos. Are tacos. My favorite food are tacos. Son tacos, como son en mayúsculas, en, en plurales. Are. Artacos. Okay. Artacos. Excellent. What about Brian? What is your favorite your favorite food, Brian? My favorite food is chicken. Is chicken. Okay. Now, 
Did you remember that yesterday we saw common breakfast foods in different countries? And we was discussing about the the what do you have for breakfast, right? About the the meal, different kinds of, of meals, and about like and dislike, gusto y disgusto, ya. Yeah? Lo que nos gusta y lo que no nos gusta. Acerca de las comidas, about food. Yes? Now, we saw yesterday, ayer hablamos de esto, ¿verdad? Que qué nos gustaba, cuáles son los diferentes tipos de comida, de desayunos. In the U.S., in Japan, and in Mexico too, right? And after... We did this exercise about the like and dislike. For example, fruits. I like apples and mangoes, and I don't like bananas. Did you remember that we was practicing this exercise? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, we was practicing with this too. Are this food good or bad for you? And why, right? Estuvimos practicando también con esto. Que si era bueno o malo para su salud. Now, we saw adverbs of frequency too. What is the meaning of always? Algunas veces, si mal no recuerdo. Siempre. 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 Siempre, <laughs> yes, siempre. What is the meaning of usually? Usualmente. 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 What is the meaning of often? A menudo. A menudo. A menudo. What is the meaning of sometimes? Algunas, Algunas veces. veces. What is the meaning of hardly ever? Casi, Casi nunca. nunca. What is the meaning of never? Nunca. 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 Now. Can you tell me one example using sometimes? One one sentence. I need one sentence using sometimes. Yeah? Please tell me sometimes tell me an example. Sometimes I take the bus. I take the bus. Yeah? Sometimes I take the bus. Algunas veces yo tomo el bus. To work, right? Para, para ir al trabajo. To work o para trabajar. Yeah. Another? You I can sometimes, use... I yes? sometimes read a book. I sometimes read a book. Another, using never. Using never. I need a sentence using never. Uh, never I watch Netflix. I never watch Netflix. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. I never study English. Or I never. You are a good inventor because you are here. <laughs> I never study English. <laughs> you are a liar, Jose David. <laughs> liar, it means mentiroso. <laughs> he learned in the class. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now tell me one sentence using hardly ever. Hardly ever. What is the meaning of hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi nunca, okay. Tell me a sentence using hardly ever. I hardly ever what? Drinks, Drinks coffee. coffee. Drinks coffee. Drinks Excellent. beer. Oh, drink beer. Okay, now tell me one sentence using usually. 
I usually what? I usually have dinner with my family. Have dinner with my family. Nice. I usually miss classes. I usually miss classes. Miss classes. Of English. English classes. <laughs> English classes. Okay. Now, can you tell me another? Another one? I always go to the park. I always, let me see. I always, what? Go to the park. Go to the park. Yo siempre voy al parque. Okay. Aquí miren, le voy a poner también otro verbo que es luz. Luz aquí. Dice, I miss English class o I lose English classes. Okay. Now. Vaya, hicimos otro ejercicio, miren con esto, con lo que vimos ayer. Now, we have another example. You see this one, let me see. This one. Exercise. Food habits. Food habits. Can you tell me what is the meaning of food habits? What is the meaning of food habits? Habitos alimenticios. Habitos alimenticios. Yes. Another instruction. Put the adverbs in the correct places. In the correct places. Okay. Read number one. Number one is, is the, an example. It's an example. Some people, American put cream in their coffee often. Van a poner los adverbios utilizando, miren, estos, adverbios, estos son los adverbios, los que están en paréntesis. Estos son los que ustedes van a poner ahí. ¿Ya? Son los que van a poner ahí. Ahora, necesito que se concentren en la número dos. Lean qué dice. Some o vean la número Corea. uno. Yeah. So some people in Korea uh, always eat pickled vegetables for the breakfast. Okay, let me see here. Back in the number one, it says Americans put cream in their coffee. Y el often, ¿dónde va a ir el often? Va aquí. Americans often put. Los americanos a menudo ponen crema en su café. Yeah. Y number two, vaya, ¿cómo me dijeron el número dos? Some Ac people. Ok. Number two. Some es, people in some Korea. Some people in Korea. Uh, always eat pickles. Always eat pickles. Besable for the breakfast. Pickles, let for me see. For breakfast. Yeah. Pickle vegetables for breakfast. breakfast. Aquí utilizamos, miren, el always. Aquí está, el always. Siempre. Y el always es el que estaba acá en paréntesis. Aquí tenemos un nuevo. Mire que este no se lo di. Pero se lo voy a mencionar porque también es un... Rara vez. Rara vez. Seldom. Rara vez. Here, in China, people put sugar in their tea. Now, I ask you, is the same to here? Is the same? No, right? Because tea is without sugar. Yeah, now, in China, people put sugar in their tea. Can you tell me the, yeah? In China... 
Seldom people. In China, seldom people. Put sugar in the egg. Tea. Put sugar in, the, in the, the their tea. Beer. In their tea. Nice. Another volunteer for number four. For number four. In England, people put milk in their tea. And you use usually. In England, people put milk in their tea. ¿Cómo sería acá? In England. In usually. England. In England, what? Usually. usually. People usually. put milk people. in their tea. Put milk in the their tea. tea. Nice. Is easy or difficult? Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's easy. easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, only try to remember that the, the position, the position yeah. of the adverbs. Recuerdan que vimos esa parte de las posiciones que puede Pero ir. Antes de, ajá, antes puede de, ir antes o puede ir después. De los objetos. Aquí, mire, se la voy a poner de nuevo. Position of adverbs of frequency. Before the main verb puede ir después de un verbo principal. Antes, perdón. Before, antes. Before the main verbs. Here, I never get. Aquí el verbo es el get. Se puede ir antes, dice, I never get. After the verb to be, cuando es el verbo to be, puede ir después. I am, he is, she is, we are, they are, you are. Esos son los verbos to be. Después de eso puede ir el, la, el adverb of frequency, el adverbio de frecuencia. Now can be between the main and auxiliary verbs. Puede ir en medio del verbo principal y de un verbo auxiliar. Acá, we can, can significa poder. En este caso aquí actúa como un verbo, un verbo auxiliar. We can sometimes, y be, actúa como el verbo principal. Dice we can sometimes Be too loud. A veces hacemos demasiado ruido, dice. O nosotros podemos algunas veces hacer demasiado ruido. Now, others position. Algunos adverbios como usually, normally, often, o sometimes, pueden ocupar posiciones finales e iniciales. Dice, miren, aquí está el final. I go to the gym quite often. Voy al gimnasio bastante a menudo. Next, sometimes I'm in a good mood. Algunas veces dice, estoy de buen humor. Ya, aquí va al inicio, at the beginning, and here is at the end of the sentence. Ya. Remember this position. Now, to continue with this, this exercise. Okay, number five. Number five. In Japan, people have a fish for breakfast. Okay, ¿cómo sería aquí? In Japan, sometimes. In Japan. Sometimes people have fish. People have fish for breakfast. For breakfast. Number six. Teacher. Tell me. En el caso de tres, cuatro y cinco, entonces sí estaría correcto que vayan antes de people o sería después de people. No, aquí está bien, puede ir antes. Ah, oh, ok. Ya, yeah. yeah, porque people, people no es un verbo, sino que es un noun, es un nombre. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. cuando, yeah. cuando difiere la posición es cuando son verbos. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. este, de eso que veíamos. 
que puede ir eh, en medio de un verbo auxiliar y de un verbo, de un verbo normal, ¿ya? Yeah. Pero en yeah. ese caso no es un verbo, ¿verdad? Aquí sería después del verbo to be y aquí puede ir antes del verbo, del verbo normal. Puede ir antes o después del verbo, ¿ya? Ok. Ya. Yeah. Now, let me see here. My sometimes people have a feature for breakfast. En este caso, también podría ser al final. Podríamos ponerlo al final. In Japan, people have fish for breakfast sometimes. Ya, de acuerdo con lo que dice la, la, la regla, que dice que algunos adverbios como usually, normally, often o sometimes pueden ocupar posiciones finales e iniciales. Entonces, sí podríamos ponerlo al final o a, a iniciar también, así como estos. Usually, often o sometimes. O normal y que normal y significa que normalmente. Podría ser también este un verbo de frecuencia, normally. Normalmente. Ok. Now, continued with number six. Please help me with number six. Is Brazilians make drinks with fruit? And it's often the adverbs. Ok. ¿Cómo sería? Brazilians. Brazilians often make drinks. Often make drinks. With fruit. With fruit. Another number seven. In Canada... People have a salad for breakfast, hardly ever. Who is the correct sentence? Help me, please. In Canada, what? People hardly ever have salad. People have a salad. People, let me see. In Canada... Hardly ever. Hardly ever. People have a salad for breakfast. And the last one. The last one. Number eight. Some Mexicans eat pasta and never. Number eight. Some, some Mexicans never eat pasta. Some Mexicans never eat pasta. I don't know why, but I consider that pasta is delicious. And, okay, now, do you have any question for this part? Questions? No, no for the you. moment. Okay. Now, here we have another example using, using adverbs. Now, how often do you play tennis? How often? ¿Con qué frecuencia juega, juega usted tennis? How often do you play soccer in this case? How often do you play soccer? ¿Con qué frecuencia juega fútbol? The answer is, I often play every Saturday. This is an example. I often play every Saturday. Dice, con juego con frecuencia o a menudo juego cada sábado. Another, I often play soccer once a week. Aquí quiero enseñarles algo. Tenemos el once a week. Miren, once a week o solo one significa una vez. This one. Significa una vez. Twice significa dos veces. Twice, dos veces. Si decimos, digamos, una vez a la semana, ah, once a week. Si decimos dos veces al mes, digamos, dos veces. Twice a month. 
si decimos eh, tres veces por semana, ya es three times, sería así, ¿ve? three times a week, por ejemplo, three times, tres veces a la semana, three times, si son cuatro veces sería ya four times, ya, o four times, cuatro veces a la semana, ya, and then in this case, it is important to know once, twice, and three times. ¿Qué es una vez, once, twice, dos veces, and three times, and they are the tres, tres veces. Yeah. Now, uh, let me see. Only, ahora hice this, okay, watch the movies. Vamos a hacerlas, ustedes me las van a decir, las respuestas. Ok, let me see. Check this one in number two. Number two. I need volunteers. I need a volunteer for number two. How often do you exercise? What is the meaning of this question? How con often qué, do you exercise? ¿Qué tan a menudo haces ejercicio? Ya. Yeah. O con qué necesitas? frecuencia. Ya. Yeah. Con qué frecuencia o qué tan a menudo haces ejercicios. How often do you exercise? Hardly never. Okay. Please tell me your answer. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Hardly never. I hardly ever. Hardly ever what? Do exercise. Hardly ever go exercise. Let me see. I hardly ever do do exercises. Entonces dice, yo casi nunca hago ejercicios. I hardly ever do exercises. I usually. Yes, I usually can be. I usually. I usually. Mm -hmm. I usually what? Um, a weekend. I usually do exercises. Do we weekend. On weekend. On weekend. On weekend. On weekend es el fin de semana. Dice, I yes. usually do exercises on weekend. Yo usualmente hago ejercicios los fines de semana. On weekend. ¿Ya? ¿Se va comprendiendo esta parte? Yes. Yes. Ok, now. Question number three. Question number three. How often do you play video games? How I often never play video games. I never play video games. Another, another teacher, answer? Teacher, uh, siempre se tiene que contestar con los adverbios o puedo decir I don't like play video games. Puede decirlo así también, no me gustan los videos, ya, pero puede decir también, ah, yo nunca juego videos porque no me gustan. Por ejemplo, I never, solo voy a ser un poquito más pequeña. Let me see. Here. Every. Vaya. Dice... How often do you play video games? ¿Con qué frecuencia juega videojuegos? I never play video games because because I don't like. Yes, because I don't like. Porque no me gusta. ¿Ya? Yo nunca juego video, video games porque no me gusta. ¿Ya? Now, number four, what is the meaning of this question? How often do you go running? 
Tell me, please. What is the meaning? ¿Qué tan a menudo vas a correr? Yes, ¿qué tan a menudo vas a correr? ¿Cómo podría ser la respuesta? Si yo quiero decir un día sí y un día no. Entonces, a la cien, un día sí, un día no, ¿cuántas veces son a la semana? Cuatro o tres, no sé. Tres, ¿verdad? Entonces puede, entonces puede decir, how, dice, how often do you go running? ¿Con qué frecuencia va a correr? Ah, entonces dice usted, I go running three times a week. Yes. I go running three times a week. Yo voy a correr tres veces a la semana. Tres veces a la semana. Now, number five. How often do you eat fast food? How often do you eat fast food? ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Qué dice ahí? What is the come meaning of comida rápida? ¿Con qué frecuencia come comida rápida? Ok, what is the answer? I hardly ever eat fast food. I hardly ever eat fast food. Ok, dice que ella casi nunca come comida, comida chatarra. Yeah. Please check the, the other question. What is the meaning of how often do you watch movies? How often do you watch movies? What is the meaning of how often do you watch movies? Watch movies every day. Okay, but what, what is the meaning? ¿Con qué frecuencia mira ah, películas? Ajá, yes. ¿Con qué frecuencia ve usted las películas? Ve películas. What is the answer? I watch movies, I watch every, movies. Day, every day. I watch movies every day. Ok. I watch movies every day. Yo veo películas todos los días. In my work. Yeah. In your, in your job. Mm -hmm. Oh. And what do you do there? Oh, you are inventing. No, es verdad, en la hora de almuerzo. <laughs> ah, en la hora de almuerzo. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They work in the cinema. <laughs> ah, maybe. <laughs> maybe he works in the other cinema. Yeah. Now, number seven. How often do you go to the doctor? How often? How I sometimes go to the doctor. ¿Con qué al doctor? Yes, ¿con qué frecuencia vas al doctor? It sería a uh, once I sometimes go to the uh, year. Repeat, please. I sometimes go to the doctor. I sometimes go to the doctor. Ah, pero dice yo alguna vez, ¿verdad? How often. Pero como dice, ¿con qué frecuencia va a donde el doctor? La frecuencia puede ser, digamos, dos veces al mes, una vez al año. O Two cada seis a meses. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, once a year. Ahí puede ser, I go to the go doctor. To Unas do, tres yeah. veces al año. No. O dos veces I al año. Twice a, twice a year. Vaya, miren. Twice a year. Once I go to the doctor twice a year. Voy donde el doctor dos veces al año. Twice a year. ¿Ya? Yeah. Is this topic important to you or no? Yes. It's very important. It's very important. 
Yeah. Do you have any questions for this part? Question? Is easy or difficult to you? Difficult. It's difficult to you. Ah, okay. I consider that it's easy. It's easy, but uh, it's important to learn about or keep in your mind the different adverbs of frequency. Yeah. Now, do you have any questions for this part? Question? No. 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 Okay. And then continue with, let me see, with this important topic. Eating for good luck. Eating for good luck. What is the meaning of eating? Comiendo o comer. Comiendo o comer para la buena suerte. Eating for good luck. Good luck. Yes, comer para la buena suerte o comiendo para la buena suerte. Eating for good luck. Okay, on New York, eh, on New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the New Year. On New Year's Day, many people eat special food for good luck in the New Year. Dice que en el día de Año Nuevo, muchas personas comen comidas especiales para la buena suerte en el Año Nuevo. Now, I ask you, is the same in this country? Do you eat, okay, do you eat something special or eat special food for good luck in this country? The great. Uh, great. great. Grapes at midnight. Apple. Midnight. And can you tell me how many grapes? Twelve. How many? Twelve. One. Twelve. Twelve. One for month. Twelve. Ah, one for month. Interesting. And what happened? For good luck, but what? With boyfriend, with girlfriend, or what? For the money. Ah, for the money. <laughs> ah. For fortune. Ok. Now. Para el amor se usa otra cosa. Ah, ok. Nice. Here. Please, I need a volunteer. Oh, first, repeat after me. And after, I need a volunteer to read this information. Please repeat after me. Some Chinese people. Some, some Chinese, Chinese people. people. Eat tangerines. Eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Tangerines are round. Round foods and and begin again. Round foods and begin again. Like years. Like years. Like years. Like years. What is the meaning of soy, some Chinese people? Eat them. Algunos chinos. Algunos chinos. Algunas personas chinas de, o de China. O Comen tallarines. ¿verdad? Comen no. tanger, tangerines. Los tangerines mandarinas. Son como, como mandarinas. Ya. Yeah. Y le dice, tangerines are round. Son redondas. Round is, means redondas. Round food, son comidas redondas. And begin again. Dice, y comienzan de nuevo. O sea, se come la mandarina y siguen comiendo. Ya, como, como los años, dice. Quizás es una por año, ¿verdad? Igual que las uvas. The same to grapes. This is the, in, in Chinese. In Chinese. Another. It is a Jewish custom. Please repeat after me. It is a Jewish custom. It is a Jewish custom. Custom. To eat apples with honey. 
to eat apples with honey. With honey. For a sweet new year. For a sweet, for a sweet new, year. new year. New year. Okay. Do you have any questions for this vocabulary? For Chinese and, and, and Jewish? Jewish. Jewish? Jewish is a, is a, is a country. Um, yeah, it's a country. Dice que es una costumbre de ellos. Dice que es comer manzanas. With what? With honey. What is the meaning of honey? Miel. 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 And, and, and for a sweet New Year's, para un dulce nuevo año. O año nuevo. Yeah. Now, Greeks. Greeks is in, in Grecia, right? Please repeat after me. Greeks eat bas basilopita. I don't know. Yeah? Greeks eat basilopita. Bread with a coin inside. Bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck. And money is the new year. Money is the new year. Is the new year. Okay. Dice que los, los, los griegos comen el, este, miren, ese, ese tipo de pan. Es ese tipo de pan que va con una, una coin, es una moneda. Inside es adentro. Aquí está la moneda, miren. Esta moneda está dentro del pan. Inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. O sea, que la gente quizás en vez de comérselo, le busca la moneda. ¿Ya? Yeah? What is the intention? It's to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. This is a custom in Greece. Now, Please repeat after me. In Spain, in Spain, in Spain, in Spain, in some Latin American countries, in some Latin American, Latin American countries, people eat twelve grapes. People eat twelve grapes at midnight on New Year's. On New Year's. Eva. One grape for good luck. One grape for good luck. In each month of the new year. In each month of the new year. Okay, it's the same to here, right? It's the same to this country, custom. Yeah, they say. Que ellos se comen las doce uvas a la medianoche. The same to here, right? And, and each grape represent each month of the year. Now, please repeat after me. Next. On New Year's Day in Japan. On New Year's, New Year's, Year's Day in Japan. Japan. People eat mochi. People, People eat, eat mochi. mochi. Rice cakes for strength in the new year. Rice, Rice cakes, cakes for strength in the new year. What is the meaning of strength? This one? Fuerza. Es ganar fuerza, yeah. Para ganar fuerza en el nuevo año. Dice, on New Year's Day, en el día de año nuevo en Japón, la persona coming mochi, mochi es de esto. Dice que son rice cake, son cakes hechos de arroz o pastelitos de arroz for strength in the new year, para ganar fuerzas en el nuevo año. Now, last one. Some Americans, some Americans, please repeat some after Amer me. Some, some Americans. Americans. From southern state, 
from the house and turn saying eat black eyed peas and rice with color greens and rice with color greens the black eyed the black eyed I peace are like coins. Peace are like coins. And the greens are like dollars. And the greens are like dollars. Like, yes, like dollars. Then, do you have any question for this part? Any question for in Spain and Japan or in Southern South States? Questions for the vocabulary? Black eyed peas. Ok, black eyed peas. Estos son como guisantes, guisantes de color negro, que son los que se ven acá, miren, aquí en el plato. Aquí afuera, en los alrededores, están los black eyed peas, que son los guisantes. Ya, yeah. another. What is the meaning of coins? Moneda. This one? Moneda. Moneda. Yes. Coyal greens. Coyal, coyal greens. Esos son como, el, el coyal es como el col. Como los col, que son como, en el super venden que se dicen col de Bruselas, son como unos, como repollos, pero tiernitos, bien chiquititos. Que se ven como repollos, pero son chiquititos. Esos son los collar greens. Y los black eyed peas son los guisantes de color negro. ¿Ya? Yeah. Do you have any questions for this part? No. No. Okay. What other custom we have in this country about eating for good luck? What other kind of food we can eat in for good luck? Can you tell me, please? What other foods or what other kinds of foods we eat for good luck? Are there any custom when people get married? No. No, I don't know. Okay, cuando la gente se compromete o se casa, what is the custom? El brindis. No El brindis, ah, ya, pero también hay un, ¿cómo se llama? Arra se llaman, ¿verdad? que le dan no sé cuántas, cuántas, como son como centavitos las arras. Y es para Monedas que... Monedas de 10 de plata. Dinero. Ah, verdad que es... es Monedas como... de 10 centavos de plata. También, ah, ok. Yo he visto eso que las arras son como, como de tamaño de centavitos que le dan para que no les falte el dinero, ¿verdad? There is a, another kind of of custom here uh -huh. in this country yeah now do you have more questions about this topic uh -huh. no okay here i have a question to you do you eat anything special on new year's day for good luck uh -huh. this, these are questions to practice but but in this case i have a, a, an answer too but you can give me your answers too. Do you eat anything special on New Year's? On New Year's Day for God luck? Dice que si come alguna, algo especial el día de Año Nuevo para buena suerte. Yes? Volunteer? No. <laughs> what about this? I always eat turkey on New Year's Day. Turkey, it means pavo. And then, what kind of food do you eat on New, Year, on, on New Year's? ¿Qué comida? ¿Qué cenan? What is your special food on New Year's? 
We eat chicken in bread or bread in chicken. No sé. But always or usually? Bread with chicken. Uh, usually. I usually? Uh, but don't eat, eat for the look. Ah, okay. I usually eat what? Eat uh, chicken with bread, no sé. Yeah, chicken with bread. Yeah, chicken with bread. Then what else? In the New Year days. Yeah. Nice. Another another opinion, another answer. What kind of food do you eat on New Year's? Anything special, of course. Do you eat anything special no. on New Year's Day? Who who eat beans on New Year's eh, on New Year's? ¿Quién come frijoles en la, en la cena especial de Año Nuevo? Nothing. And then tell me, what kind of food do you eat? ¿Qué comen? I sometimes eat tamales. I sometimes eat tamales. Nice. Another. Tamales con pollo. Okay, it's chicken with bread. Yeah. Another. Turkey, pavo. In my case, I usually, no, I always, I always eat turkey on New Year's Day. It's a tradition to me, and I like turkey with sauce. It's very delicious. Another? Now, do you do anything special? Do you do? What is the meaning of this question? Do you do anything special? What is the meaning? Hace algo especial. Hace algo especial o hace alguna cosa especial? What is the answer? Here we have a, a, an answer, but I need more answers. I sometimes eat lasagna. Sometimes we have some lasagna. Okay, but what other? What do you do? Anything special? Quemar los cuetes, pero no se Ah, okay, uh -huh. entonces, born. Let me see. En, vamos a cambiar que, para que no sea el alimento. Born, I don't know, let me see. What is the meaning of uh, pólvora? Five words, maybe. Ah, los, yeah. But, uh, son los, mismos. los fight, yes, uh, los, yeah, pólvora can be gowned, this one. Born, ga, gang. Powder. Yeah. What else? Do you have dance, a party? Dance with cumbias. Dance with. Ah. Dance, dance cumbias. What else? Do you drink drink juice? No, drink beer. <laughs> drink beers. And wine. What else? I am wine. Yes. And have a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> another? Another? Another special? The family. See, the family enjoy the family. Share or spend time with the family. Yes. Or invite. Can be, like this. Spend time, estar tiempo, permanecer tiempo con la familia, or invite to eat to my family, right? Invitar a comer a mi familia, invite to eat to my family, yeah? Now, another, what kind of drink do you have for Christmas? What kind of drink I do you have for Christmas? Drink soda. 
Cola champán. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me see. Coffee. Okay. I always. Drink what? Drink soda. Drink soda. Soda. Yeah. And what else? Coffee. And coffee. Okay. Now. The champagne? Yeah, can be. And. Okay, here. Now, what kind of dessert do you have for New Year? What is the meaning of dessert? Postre. Postre, yeah, o aperitivo. What kind of dessert do you have for New Year? In my case, I sometimes have a cheesecake. And what about you? Tell me. What kind of dessert do you have for New Year? Yes. ¿Qué clase de postre? Son tres leches. Ah, tres leches. Ahí lo vamos a poner. Tres leches. Oh, oh, quiero ver. Ya, yeah, tres leches. What else? What else? A piece of cake? No. Frost cake. Mm -hmm. O oh, sweet bread. Frost cake, teacher. Pastel helado. Ah, and then, let me see. Pastel helado sería. Is like cold. Podría ser, let me see. Pastel helado es. Uy. It's like. Ice cream or, or frost cake, maybe. Frost cake can be. Or ice cream cake. Yeah, ice cream cream. cake. Now, what's your favorite food? Yeah, what is your favorite food? <clears throat> yeah. Very what is your favorite food? My favorite food is pasta. Pasta, okay. My favorite food is pasta. Now, you know. Now, how often do you eat turkey? How often do you eat turkey? ¿Con qué frecuencia come pavo? Yes. ¿Con qué frecuencia come pavo? How often do you eat turkey? Okay. Una vez al año, dos veces al año. Tell me. O invente la respuesta. But I need an answer. Yes. Uh, I never eat turkey. Okay. I never eat turkey. Why? Ah, okay. And then I never eat turkey. Okay. Now. Vaya, aquí ya repasamos esta parte. La próxima semana, ya el lunes, vamos a ver la otra sección que es la última. La otra semana terminamos clase el jueves. Entonces, es importante que ya eh, recuerdan que para mañana tienen que subir, eh, si es posible por la mañana, tienen que subir todos los ejercicios de esta sección. que fue? ¿Qué número la sección? Cuatro. Cuatro. Todos los ejercicios de la sección 4 tienen que enviarlos temprano a más tardar o los que ya lo tienen, hay varios que ya lo tienen, pueden subirlos de inmediato. De hecho, cada vez que van haciendo uno, se va subiendo automáticamente al darle enviar. Asegúrese que todo les salga bien, que todos le queden bien. Si tienen alguna duda, me preguntan. Pero con las clases que hemos visto, más, más las clases de la plataforma, 
usted está capacitado ya para hacer los ejercicios. Y si tiene duda, se va de nuevo al tema, a repasar ese tema y luego lo completa, lo complementa. ¿Ya? Entonces ya el lunes iniciamos el último tema. Me gustaría saber qué les ha parecido las clases hasta este momento. Opinions. O si Muy necesitan bien. que se modifique algo. En lo personal, Nies, pues como voy empezando, me ha parecido bien. Tiene una manera de enseñar muy bonita, es muy paciente y, y ahí solamente de, de poner esfuerzo de uno también aparte para repasar, ¿verdad? Que a veces cuesta. Y es, sí, yo los comprendo. A veces cuesta mucho, principalmente cuando uno trabaja, que llega cansado de trabajar, hacer cosas a la casa. Pero de mi parte lo felicito porque están aquí, aunque estén cansaditos, aquí están. ¿Qué significa que usted quiere aprender y que está poniendo su mejor esfuerzo por aprender? ¿Verdad? Entonces, hay mucha gente que dice, ay, no, yo vengo cansada, yo tiempo para eso no tengo, dice la gente. ¿Ya? Pero el tiempo se hace y si uno quiere salir adelante, si uno quiere superar, entonces hay que hacerlo. Todo lo bueno cuesta, todo lo positivo pero ¿cómo, es, cómo estamos con nuestro, nuestra actitud, si queremos salir adelante, vamos a ver solo lo positivo y vamos a meterle, vamos a esmerarnos en aprender. Why the reason are, are a lot of, muchas razones tenemos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si usted quiere cambiar de trabajo, el inglés le abre muchas puertas para que pueda mejorar inclusive en su trabajo actual, ¿ya? Imagínese que usted está trabajando en atención al cliente o está trabajando como secretaria, digamos. Entonces, si, si ven que usted tiene ya un nivel de inglés, usted ya puede estar en otra área. Ya lo pueden poner en otra área. Entonces, porque el inglés abre muchas puertas y al ver que usted está estudiando, entonces lo van a mejorar. Pero, ¿qué necesitamos? Poner nuestro mejor esfuerzo para aprender. Right? Okay, and then don't forget that the exercise on platform are very important and you need to send, need to send the information. Tell me, Tania. Tania, ¿tiene una pregunta? No, okay. Okay. Ay, que está eh, el, 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 yes, el audio. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And then have a nice weekend and see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.